If silicone grease has accidentally gotten to places of the pen where it doesn't belong, like the inside of the ink tank or the barrel, or onto the nib feed, what is the best way to clean the pen? Great question. Uh, silicone grease, which is, if you're not familiar with what it is, it's this like clear kind of pasty stuff. Uh, it is an inert material that is uh, a good barrier for when you're doing eyedropper conversions. It's also really good on rubber seals and things like that for keeping converters moving smoothly. If you have any parts of the pen, like a cap where it's like squeaky and kind of tight, you can put a little silicone grease on the threads. It'll help to smooth things out a little bit. Um, but the main benefit of using silicone grease for what most people are probably buying it for is to can eyedropper convert a fountain pen. So if you have a cartridge converter pen, uh, such as this tactile, tactile turn gist, I can actually remove the converter and I can fill the body of the pen with ink. And then I put some silicone grease on the threads and then I can reassemble it and I have now the whole body of the pen filled with ink. The only danger, I guess, in doing that is if you use too much silicone grease or you're kind of not careful with it, if you get silicone grease, especially on the back end of the feed right here, there's a post that your cartridge and converter normally fits onto, and inside there your feed is a very, very, very thin, very small ink channel that's cut into the back of that feed. If you get silicone grease on that, you're effectively cutting off all of the ink flow. You're not allowing your ink to get into the feed. That gets to be kind of tricky because silicone grease is made to stay put. So the really the best way to remove it is physically, not chemically. So the best thing that I've uh, found and what I've read up online about you know, cleaning silicone grease, because silicone grease has a lot of different purposes. It's especially used in um, maintaining uh, equipment that's used for like food and beverage things. A lot of equipment uses silicone grease. Um, the grease that we use at Goulet Pens, it's food grade silicone grease, it's 100% inert. So it's that, that means that it's safe enough to use on equipment that makes food. Uh, so it's not gonna react with your ink and stuff like that. So the way to go about cleaning it is to try to disassemble the pen as much as you possibly can. And then use a toothbrush with dish soap, you know, diluted if you need to, and scrub as much of the area that you think there's silicone grease as possible. It may be possible to flush it out just using a bulb syringe like this with very, very soapy dish soap water. Uh, if it depends on how, how much silicone grease there is and where it's clogging up, you might be able to kind of force it through with the bulb syringe, but it's always a best bet if you get into that situation to disassemble it, which I'm going to go ahead and just do. I just inked up this pen, but I'm gonna get my fingers messy anyway. So I can actually just pull the nib and feed right out of the pen, like so. And you can see here, this tiny little post has a tiny little slit in it. And that's where the ink is starting to travel down. So I would disassemble it like this, take the nib out, and I would use a toothbrush with dish soap and I would kind of scrub gently the end of that feed until I feel like I've gotten as much of it as I can. And then I would uh, probably be in better shape than I was before uh, anyway. But that's usually the situation that you're gonna run into when silicone grease is getting you in trouble and blocking your ink flow. And I'm gonna try to reassemble this. It's always harder to do when you have an inked up pen. There we go. There, now I feel like I've, I feel like normal today. Whenever I don't have ink on my fingers, I always feel kind of weird. So uh, that's about it.